So let us consider this problem. Management of RST company must decide in choosing an ideal location to open a new branch of computer shop. The table below shows the possible profit in the business in the different locations and possible probabilities on sales events. So these are the different alternatives. So actually we have three. We have Kubao, Gilmore, and Makati. And the different events, that is the condition of the economy when uh, whether it is low, moderate, and high. So here we try to apply the three dif different decision environments. Namely, we have the decision making under the condition of certainty, uncertain, and risk. So for uh, certainty, so if the condition of the economy is low, so most probably the management should open a new branch of computer shop in Makati. But if it is a moderate, then again, the company would open a new branch at Makati. But if the condition of the economy is high, then most probably the company should open a new branch of computer shop at Gilmore. Okay, now let's try the se second decision environment, which is decision making under the condition of uncertainty. Okay, so the decision maker are, is not certain no, on the possible uh, scenarios that would happen. So let's try the first uncertain. We have the maximax. So maximax, we mean here maximum among the maximums. So let us look on this first strategy. The maximum here is 150,000. For Gilmore, the maximum pay, payoff or profit is 200,000. And for Makati, the maximum is 170,000. So among the maximums in all these strategies, uh, so we have 200,000 is the highest expected profit. So we, we could now de decide that the management should open a new branch at Gilmore because it has the highest expected profit. So that's maximum among maximums. For maximum, we call this maximum among minimums. So we try to to get the max, the minimum okay among the three alternatives so for Kubao, the minimum is 75000 for Gilmore 100000 for Makati the minimum payoff is 150000 so among these uh, minimums the maximum payoff is 150000 so therefore the company should open a new branch of computer shop at Makati for Laplace strategy, so here we just compute the average payoff in each different alternatives. Okay. So for Kubao, the average is 103,000. For Gilmore, 140,000. For Makati, the average payoff is 156,000. So among these averages, the highest payoff is 156,000. So we can say now that the company should open a new branch of computer shop at Makati. For a um, minimax regret, since this is a regret, so we try to compute the, the expected payoff for each column. Okay, for each column. So here the highest is so we try to consider the highest payoff for each column and will be subtracted from the different payoff. So for if the condition of the economy is low, the highest payoff, payoff is 150,000. So this 150,000 will be subtracted here from 100,000 and 75,000. Okay. For moderate, the highest is 170,000. So we will subtract 170,000 in each payoffs here. And then here, the highest is 200,000. So 200,000 will be subtracted in all entries here in the high, high column.
So let's try to see the next table. So that would be our result. Okay. Then after that, after uh, subtracting the highest pay off in each column, and then we try to get the maximum we get in each column. So for Kubao, the maximum is 85,000. For Jinmore, it's 50,000. And for Makati, it's 50,000. Then after that, we try to get the minimum among the maximums. Okay? the minimum among the maximums this is since this is a regret so we try to consider the lowest possible payoff since we have a tie then it's either the company will open a new branch at Gilmore or Makati so it's either among the two alternatives so for Herbert's criterion so we have a alpha which is 0.7. So this alpha would determine how the decision maker is positive on the particular scenario. So, so this, this alpha here is given. So this alpha will be uh, computed to the highest payoff in each alternative. Okay. And the remaining 0.3 will be multiplied to the lowest payoff in each alternative. Okay, so let's try to consider the next table. So this is the computation. For Kubao, so we have 127,500. For Gilmore, we have 170,000. For Makati, we have 164,000. So I repeat, the, the alpha... Okay, will be com will be multiplied to the highest payoff and then 1 minus alpha that is 0 0.3 will be multiplied to the lowest payoff for its different alternatives okay so the highest here is 170000 so we could, we could now conclude that the company should open a new branch of computer shop at Gilmore okay for risk so just uh, we multiply the payoff to its assigned probability. So for for instance for Kubao, so we just multiply seventy five thousand times point three. So for and then for moderate eighty five thousand times point five, and then one hundred fifty thousand times point two for high. Okay, so so let us consider the next table. So this would be our com computation. Okay. And then we we notice that the highest payoff is 160,000. So this will be our basis now for our decision that a company should open a new branch of computer shop at Makati since it has the highest computed expected value. And this is the decision tree so this is how we are going to construct the decision tree so we have the decision node and then the different alternatives here about Gilmore and Makati and this is the expected value computed expected value for its alternatives okay and this is the different payoff so the decision node here would depend on what is the highest expected value as we computed while ago since the highest is 160,000 then the our decision here is to open a new branch at Makati